welcome to this second look map tour with me, Mr. Sealy P. So I'm here on Holmacra. Um, this is Holmacra Farming and Forestry. This map had an update um, on Friday. It was updated last week, but I think it was the wrong update or something had gone wrong. It got removed. The proper update's been done. Now, this map has changed significantly from its first release hugely in fact um, that's why I'm, I've kind of come back on it again because I wanted to give it a look um, and it was initially just a logging map that's all there was there was one cell point for, for timber and lumber and it was just logging great map for logging fantastic details I like the tracks and all the stuff when I did my review on it last time my kind of say review tour whatever you want to describe it so we're back on again um, so Homacra 2020, it does say when it comes up on the screen, um, farming and forestry, because they've added farming in. So let's have a look at the map. Well, at the moment, what I'm showing you is what the map used to look like. This was the map in its entirety. Um, we had Homacra timber. We didn't have a lime station, didn't have a mill and spinnery, didn't have an animal dealership, nothing like that. Those things weren't on the original map. Um, uh, there were a few... I think uh, there was a, a, a little field, I think, which, which is still there by the the spinnery, and your house was up there. That was pretty much it. That was the map. Um, what they've done is they've extended the map somewhat to make it a full-size map. Um, we start now down here. So we've got all these tracks, all these roads, these fields are available, which weren't here before. We've got this brilliant section here we're going to have a look at later on where the land's been cleared for telegraph poles um, or telegraph lines or power lines you know, along there. There are new ground textures, there are new lighting textures, there are new... It's all, the whole thing has been completely rebooted. I mean, that's what I put on the thumbnail, whole macro reboot, because it is a reboot. Um, loads more stuff's been added so if you're wanting to do farming you can do farming it's not just a forestry map but i like again i've said this before on forestry maps i like that frontier spirit idea of clearing the land out you might start off with a farm you've got to clear it out and you know what we've also got up here which is brilliant this used to be a track that's now got a dotted line on it now that's a shortcut should you want to use it because the routes at the moment if you use the roads you've got all the way around to get up to the cell point that needs to be cleared it, there is a track there but there are trees all along that track that you need to clear to be able to use that shortcut another i just think it's a brilliant feature it's really really cool um so we'll get into it down here at our main farm we have three pig enclosures we've got cows and we've got sheep um, we've got a silo and we've got our house are all down here now um, I've got this on new farmer on new farmer we start with this area here um, a lot of the tracks and roads we kind of already start with and we start off this big forestry area up the top here which is great so if you want to do a bit of forestry you haven't got to buy any land first to do that you can do some up here up by the lumber yard and you've got a little bit here around behind the livestock market too um, if you want to do this track here to clear it because obviously you need to own the land to be able to clear trees um, you need to buy that for 85 grand and then you can clear that and you've got yourself a, like a logging trail however you want to refer to it um, prices across the map aren't too bad they vary I say aren't too bad <laughs> I suppose bearing in mind what you can make off of each one because the trees are densely packed on this map they seem like quite a lot there are some smaller ones which are cheaper but because you start off with this area here if you cleared a lot of this area you're going to make so much money on the on the lumber you can then afford to buy the next section and move on if you want to buy a section to clear the land try and find a flatter area or whatever area you want to extend your fields and have more fields you can absolutely do that which again i think is brilliant but be warned um on new farmer we've only used 431 out of 1299 slots which is brilliant on farm manager only 399 out of 1299 on start from scratch only 381 the difference is in, I think we don't start on farm manager start from scratch with the silo and the pig sheds those kind of things um, but if you come on farm manager and start from scratch you don't own this bit of land here if we click on that that costs two million one hundred and thirteen thousand so if you did come on on start from scratch or farm manager and you want to buy this plot of land and have your farm start here that's how much that plot is going to cost you with field one 
So realistically, if you're going to go down the route of new farmer or farm manager, or farm manager will start from scratch, do it on new farmer and sell everything. And then you can kind of go with the start from scratch idea, but you might own this plot of land already, because if you want to own it, it's going to cost you a bomb to buy that. Admittedly, it's, you get all of this as well. So it's a bit of a dilemma. I mean, I'm just warning you, that's kind of, that's the situation. So anyway, down our new farm area, um, we've got our building here for our cows. So our cow barn is just here. Milk is here. We've got a silo just there. And on New Farmer, we do start with stuff in the silo, I think. We do have some crops in the silo. So there's only one sell point, but there are placeable sell points available now. So if you wanted to add more sell points in, you want to expand, expand the map a little bit, um, you know, you could open up a garden centre, you can put the buy anything silos. You know, there are so many options available now with the, the mods available, placeables and things. You, you can pretty much do whatever you like, which is absolutely fantastic. A uh, couple of shelters. Now, obviously, originally this you only started off with, I think it was a tractor, a logging trailer, the stepper trailer. But now we've got a whole lot of farming equipment as well, um, which obviously if you're going to do farming, you're going to need it. We start off with two tractors now rather than just, I think it was just the voucher we had before. Do we have the voucher to pick up? I'm trying to remember from when I did it originally. We do start with the bison. Um, you know, again, when you start on a new map, you might decide, you know what, I'm going to get rid of some of this stuff. I'm going to change it up. There's a few bits and bobs I want for my starting equipment. You don't have to use the starting equipment you get on a new map. That's entirely up to you. We do have a bunker silo down here as well. Uh, manure pit for the uh, cows. I'm trying to remember where the... I think it was up this end, wasn't it? I'm going mad. Going absolutely mad. Oh, no. <laughs> of course it wasn't. It's down this end. Um, your buy, sell, load or unload for your cows is one of these doors here. There we go. So buy, sell, load or unload for your cow p uh, pen. It's not really a pasture. It's just a pen. Is there and your slurry is there. We've got the, care, the uh, sheep buildings. Three of... There's one of your, did I say sheep? Pigs. Three pigs buildings, one there. So you've got your slurry, you've got your manure, your feed troughs are inside and your water trough. Uh, there are two separate ones with this actually. Um, if we go into this menu here, for kind of modded implements, or you know, sometimes you get modded buildings and things you can place or remove. You've got two pig enclosures, you've got a 60 one and one f that will hold 90. Um, I'm just trying to think. Yeah, I suppose, yeah. I was, I was just thinking, if you get two of those, you get 120 capacity, but that's 90 grams. It's only 10 more than that. Yeah, you might be better off having two of those than one of those. I don't know. Anyway, but these these are placeable. Um, they are modded. So that, they're the ones that if you go on farm, uh, farm Manager and start from scratch, they disappear. So you'd have some big open spaces on this map. Um, two more pig pens down here. And then we've got the sheep over here. Buy, sell, load or unload is done from this this doorway on this side. It's always a little bit difficult when you're doing a kind of first look, or say first look, second look, I guess, isn't it? Um, around the map and you're kind of walking around the yard saying this is here, this is there. Um, getting the orientation around a new farmyard can often be a little bit tricky, but, you know, just to show you that yeah, the load unload points are all there, the pig pens there, sheep there, cows there, another big pig pen up there, and then we've got two buildings over here that are housing equipment. That one there, and that one there. So that's the main farm area. We've got, you know, a few bits going on. I'm going to go and grab one of the tractors, and let's get cracking around a little cabin in here. So I suddenly saw something in the woods. Yeah. Um, selection of different trees, different sizes, various different things to cut down. And like I said, they are densely packed. Now, I'm playing on PlayStation Pro. I haven't had any lag or frame rate drop issues at all. Considering it is a logging map, I am also blown away by the fact it's... Um, it's uh, been extended by so much, and yet... 
the um, slot count is still incredibly low. I think that's absolutely fantastic they've managed to do that. Um, so what we're going to do is go around the yard and go up and show you where the house is. Kind of went the long winded way around that, didn't I? So I want to show you some of the new features. So I will skip between a couple of places because it's a big map. Um, but I don't know if you can tell already. I mean, the lighting does seem different. The textures are definitely different on the ground. Um, this is all obviously part of the new bit. Your farmhouse is just here. Sleep through the night trigger. Just there. So we're kind of down the southern part of the map now. We're in the southeast corner. We're going across the bottom towards where the fields are. And it does have that feel of, you know, the, the forest has been cleared out and the, this has been opened out. Very flat down the bottom here, which is great. If you want to clear any more of the trees out and then open it up a bit more and add some more fields in, okay, that's the whole point of it, really. Uh, we can keep going along that way, which will take us down past more of our fields. If we go and have a look in our map. So we've gone around the yard. We're now going to sort of, sort of westward. There's a little track there just just between the fields, doesn't go anywhere. But we can follow this route all the way around, which is where we're going to go. We're going to head that way first, because I want to head out and show you this bit here with the telegraph lines. There's some new textures on tracks, which are over this way. Uh, we've got a section of forest here, which is kind of wind-blown, sort of damaged trees, which you can clear if you want. Again, it's a nice, nice touches. I, I like that about it. Um, and then what we'll do, we'll whiz over. I'll show you the track there that needs to be cleared. All of this section of the map, like I say, it has all been updated, but we kind of covered that in the first first look I did of this. Um, there's forest and tracks and hills, and you've got a big clearing here that looks like it's already been forested um, and sort of kind of left after that. But we're going to go up and have a look at the new section up here with the animal dealership and the bits and bobs up the top there. So what we'll do, um, yeah, so we'll carry along here. And I'll see you up there in a moment, because we're going to carry on the bottom now. There is a little fork where we just went past the house where you can go up to Ford's Field 7 and 4, which are just above us, 7, 4 and 5. But we're going to carry on the main route round and head out towards that area with the power lines and stuff, which I think looks fantastic. Right, where am I now? Right, well, we've come, I've come along this track here, all up here. I did cut across country. We've got some new textures on tracks here. It's going to bring us out onto this, this road here, which we're going to have a look then down at where the uh, power lines are and the windswept area and that kind of thing. Um, this It's difficult to tell. Um, I always think of like ordnance survey maps where you've got the contour lines. When you look at a map like this, you can't tell what it's going to be like on the ground. This is steep. There are parts, as we're up on the top of a hill at the moment, and it sweeps down in all different directions. There are parts of this where the tracks and roads, they are steep. I mean... You know, you're going to require something with a bit of oomph, like we say, now we're going to go down this track, back down the other side. Um, it does say also in the Mod Hub, required mods. Um, you need the wind turbine by Razak Project Mecklenburg uh, 17. Now, I found when I installed the map, it automatically... Um, yeah, look. It um, automatically downloaded that. So where, where it says it requires it, it did download it automatically. This is brilliant real deep rutted areas but it's like that I think the first time I saw this on a on console was an alien gyms I think it was on Sussex farm on FS17 where you had that muddy area where it would sink into it and you look at it now it's like we're sinking into the mud it's brilliant and then out the other side there's a couple of boggy areas around the map probably a few more than a couple around the map that are like that it's little touches like that I, I, I don't know I think it makes a difference I like it like I say, it's not going to be everyone's cup of tea, but for me personally, I'd like that a lot. And you can see how tightly packed the trees are, how, you know, there's a lot of logging to be done. Sometimes you get logging... Oh, there's more in it. Sometimes you... Whoa, what did I hit? Whoa, so I hit something. That is deep. And this is why I think with North Modding Company, because they are they are they love their forestry. I mean, North Modding Company bring out a lot of the forestry equipment that we get mods and stuff. The whole point is you're supposed to be not supposed to be, but the whole thing of using forwarders and tree harvesters and you know whoa. 
It's supposed to give you that feeling of, not that it's completely impenetrable, because of course you can get in there with any vehicles, but it's just it's supposed to give you that feel, isn't it? So, let's turn down here. Did I get sidetracked on what I was saying then? I probably did, didn't I? I'm going to watch this back in the edit and go, oh, that's what I meant to carry on talking about. Never mind. Oh yeah, about being tightly packed, densely packed trees. So, either side of here, we've got trees grown up, but if we go through, we've got this area that's cut. We can see where it's been it's been chopped out of the wood, the sort of forest, to allow the power lines to be put through. Um, and then obviously over time, smaller trees and shrubs and stuff are growing up. And again, it's a nice feature on a map. I like that. It's cool. It gives a kind of nice real feel to the whole thing. Um, and that runs around this bottom section of the map here. It's very cool. Then carries on running off this direction here if I can get through the shrubs. There we go. Off out here. It's nice. I like it. It's one of those strange things, you know, doing map tours. I personally at home have a large selection of maps. I, I love maps and topography and looking at places and how they've changed over time and those kind of things. And it's one of those things, so when you get a map where you've got something a little bit different that stands out and something that on a map... There we go, some more. Oh, that looks like I could get stuck in that. Be careful. But yeah, um, so up around here, if I can find it. Oh, got another track that needs clearing. Blimey, this is dense. There, look, over here, we've got a whole load of stuff that's kind of windblown, damaged trees that you can come and clear out. Wow, look at that. Even the roots up in the ground. See, little touches like that. I've never come across that on a map before. You know, there have been ones where you've got a tree down on its side and they'll have like a dead tree laying down. But that's brilliant. That's such a cool feature. A whole section where something's just come through and, you know, the wind's been really bad. You've got some partly uprooted, some completely uprooted. That's fantastic. And I'll be honest with you, I knew this was here. I was tipped the wink on that by North Modding Company. But this is the first time of actually finding it. I, I hadn't actually come across it. Um, wow, that's brilliant. What a fantastic feature. Right, so what we're going to do now, I'm going to head back to my tractor. Um, and we're going to go back up the map. And what I'll probably do is a little bit of a... We have got field six here. We'll kind of go past. We kind of came out by it, but you can also buy We'll do a kind of speed it up, you know, we're going to go across the map. I want to head over here because I want to get to this track here to show you that and then we'll head down and we'll show you the uh, all the stuff there. Um, but I want you to get a kind of feel for it. You might not have watched the original um, map tour, so um, the whole thing may be completely new to you. I don't want to make the assumption that well, you, people have seen this already because you might not have done. This might be the first time you're looking at it. That's cool, it's like a secret entrance you've got clear to get through. So where are we now? Well, we are. We've come all the way across up here, all the way on this track here, all the way down there. We are now here, where that dotted line is on the map. That's the bit that you can buy that entire track for about 85 grand, and the track leads off through here. Let's say so you can make it into a shortcut, but as you can see, there are trees all over it. Um, 
So that needs to be cleared out. Now this was done on... Oh, what was the map? Mine's gone blank. If I remember, I'll put it up on the screen now. The first time I saw this, where you had to kind of clear... I mean, you can clear a path through the trees anywhere, and if you own it, you can then landscape it and put your own track in. Of course you can, but... Seeing this kind of thing... It's a nice touch, it's a nice feature. I like it. So you have to kind of work your way across, clear the trees out that are in the way, maybe some by the side. Some bits are clear, which aren't too bad. You can kind of get through. Other bits aren't. But um, it's a nice feature. And it kind of sweeps in between various sort of landscaping features, hills, and... You know, it's, it's brilliant. I like this a lot. Now, what I'm going to show you, because it's going to be quicker to get there, is the main store, although there's not actually a store icon, if we look on the map, I'll show you, there's not actually a store here. Um, you've got a whole macro timber, you've got a fuel point, lime station, the whole macro mill and spinnery, and you've got the animal dealership. There's not actually a store. Um, but at the timber yard, that's the reset point. And that's, there's a little build in there where you can do your repairs, uh, maintenance, customizations, those kind of things. But obviously you can put your own garage workshop wherever you want on the map. That's entirely up to you as well. There are plenty of placeables available for that too. Um, so what we're going to do is just to illustrate that point because it's going to be easier. If I just switch vehicles one second. So what we're going to do is we're going to reset the vehicle. Like so. It has been reset back to the shop. And here we are. We are at the shop. So, we have now gone from here up to here. So your reset point is there, that's where you're going to respawn. And if you buy machinery or vehicles, that's where it's going to come to. Obviously, without a store icon, you've got your lumber yard is just here. Um, so we're kind of, that's facing north, and that's east, and we're up here at the timber yard now. Um, you've got some shelf, uh, some barn space. I don't think this has changed much. This is pretty much how it was uh, or on the sort of pre-reboot update version. So you've got your timber yard just here. So your timber point is here. You've got another building here. I don't think this particularly serves a purpose. I don't think it does. You can use it for storage, long vehicles, trailers, that kind of stuff. And your wood chip sell point is just here. But like I say, there's no store icon. You've got this building here. And if I open this one, this is kind of your workshop. So if you come in here, you can customise, repair your vehicles and stuff in this building here. So what you'd have to do is just go into the menu, um, like so, and then go through to buy your equipment. If you buy anything, it, it, re it spawns here at the reset point as well. Um, so, yeah, whilst there's not a store as such, you can still do it in through your menu anyway. Um, so what we're going to do now is going to go down to... Now, this is, this is what used to be your house, if I recall correctly. That's what used to be your house, but obviously we've got an entire new section of map. And there used to be, as we get down to this bit, it was like a long pasture just along here. And that's what's now got the um, cell point and spinnery on it. Uh, I've got to find my way into it. Now I'm assuming it all sells into the same one. Lime station is just to the left there. Because there's not a separate icon, like a hazard marked area. Although there are bales out the front there. But that is the sell point. So on the map, this is the whole macro mill and spinnery. So I'm, I think this the sell point is for both. I don't think there's a separate one for the spinnery. I think it all goes into that sell point just there. Um, and then we come from here and head round to the animal dealership, which we didn't have on the map before either, because there was no animal husbandry, because it was a forestry map, that's all it was. Um, I say all it was. So we're through here. Now, there are plenty of routes around, you can go right around the top of the map, if you like driving around maps, and like doing a bit of exploring. Absolutely go for it. But I wanted to kind of highlight the new features, the things that stand out as being different. That was the whole point of doing a, another kind of look at it.
And obviously the farm is a long way away from the livestock market, so if you're going to come and collect your animals yourself, it's a bit of a drive. But then there are plenty of maps that are like that, that's not, you know... Here we go, we're at the livestock market. So our load, unload, buy, sell point is just here. Tucked away in the trees. Nice, neat building. And that, for all intents and purposes, that's the, those are the main differences. You know, the rest of the map, there are loads of features to look at, There's, you know, um, to drive around. And if, if you like forestry, you're going to love it. But the beauty about them changing this map up is that if you don't want to do forestry or much forestry, um, you can just do farming. You can run the farmstead down the bottom. You can run those fields. Um, you know, do you have to do forestry? You don't have to. But there is an element of it's kind of that the two would run hand in hand. I know a lot of people argue that forestry is not farming, and I've said it before. Um, how do you think the land was originally cleared? Apart from areas where there were no trees at all, most places around the world where you now have fields and farming was originally forest. I know a lot of the UK was, um, and this is what people do. They clear areas and then put their fields down. This is what I was talking about, steep hills. Now, last time, I think, when I did the map tour, I came down this hill, and it didn't really kind of dawn on me. I think the texture seems, the mud, the earth seems a lot redder. There's definitely a red, more red tinge to this. This is steep up out of this one. Bearing in mind, I'm not actually even towing anything. <laughs> I've got a trailer on the back of this. It is steep. Um, but there you go. Those are the new features. The, the new map for all intents and purposes gives you a whole range of possibilities um, and I just want to show you what's here on it, what's available um, and you can make your decision from there what you want to do with that information, that's of course entirely your choice, so there you go, this is the whole Macra reboot um, by Pixel Farm and North Modding Company hope you found this useful and informative in some way, shape or form if you have, give us a like, if you don't subscribe yet, please do if you want to leave a comment, feel free, and if you want to share this video, then please be my guest. Whatever you should choose to do, thanks for watching.